Alright, I'm here with Laura Galvan. By this time, you're a national hero in Mexico. You have like every single record, it seems like, from the 15 to the 5K. And you broke your own record today, again, running 1449 and getting the standard for the Olympics. I know it has to feel great, but what, what are your thoughts right now? Yeah, I'm really happy, especially because the race felt really hard. Uh, right now, we don't really have much training uh, for the 5K, really. Uh, we, we've been doing, uh, I did some 10Ks, I went to the Cross World Championships, yeah. and all of this work, um, it, it hasn't been specifically to run uh, the 5K fast, so that's why probably I felt a little bit hard. Uh, but really happy because I think even though we haven't really dived uh, well into the 5k we've done other work that it just sums up you know the years passed I felt I feel like my seasons have been really um, clean kind of yeah. all the seasons I don't I don't get um, sick or anything like that so I feel like that builds up every year and I'm really happy uh, for that and, and right now really really happy because that was the goal but it, I wasn't really sure if that was going to happen because like I said we haven't really worked on that yet uh, because well with we, we I'm thinking on Central American Games yeah. um, I already qualified last week and then world champs and then Pan American Games as well all the way until November and it's so many races and the season is long so that's why we're really slow building into it and really happy that actually I I broke again the record and I ran really well uh, other than you know I thought I was not going to and it's like you're right when you're saying that like I just said whenever I see you it's like you're setting up ER or breaking your record and I have like I've witnessed like this natural progression to where it's like now your first like 5k out you're you're PRing but my question for you really is like is it the 5K? Is it the 10K? Like, is it the 15? Like, where do you really like feel most comfortable? In the 5K. The 5K, I feel like that's my main event. I really like doing the 1500 because I feel like those events they got they get me like really good into. It. That's the type of event that you start and you just you don't even know and you keep you you go faster and faster and faster and it's a really nice event that I feel like brings up my speed. The 5K is like the middle kind of, and the 10K. I am. I, 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 I think I am starting to like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I ran uh, last time 31 or oh, four, I think, and I, uh, I see the world standard close as well. So I think that's something like I, I really want to um, do. Probably I'm not sure if uh, for the Olympics, but the three events I, do, I just really like running them. But the 5K is my favorite. My last question <laughs> for you: just being like a multi national record holder like what does that mean to you what does that mean for like your family your friends when you when you go back home and they see you like are they just like this is unbelievable uh you know they're very supportive my family they're not really into running like i am i am the only one in my family and my boyfriend who runs as well but not really, my family is not into it. And I really like that because I feel like when I go home, like, I, you know, uh, track is like out. Yeah. They don't talk much about it. They don't really relate too much. And they, of course they, you know, they support me a lot, but I like that they're not really into it because and then I can enjoy that part of my family. Like when I'm on the track, I enjoy the track. And, and I feel like that I have those uh, um, pieces very well separated. And I really like that because then when I'm running, I'm running when I'm at home. You know, it's a completely different story. So, really happy, and also, like you said, it, all these um, times, and, and I think what I'm doing, it really means I want to put out there and let uh, people know that you can achieve what you want, but you have to work really hard for it. You have to work, you have to put in the work every day, and that will show up. But you have to put in the work, no matter where you're at, working, uh, whatever you're at, you have to really work and I think that builds up and I feel like, especially at home, um, I feel like the young people need to uh, put that work in. I feel like now they, they kind of want just, you know, uh, be out there and, and, and thinking that it's easy, but it's not. And I feel like that's what I want to uh, show. Um, and that's why I always say, well, I have a uh, 20 years of career in running, and I want to show that it took me like 17 years to get where I'm at, right? And, and I feel like that's what um, I really uh, want to put out there. Yeah, you got to put in the work. Spoken like a real champion. Thank you, Laura. Congratulations. Excited to see your 
very long season this year, so we're going to be seeing you a lot. Thank you so much, and I appreciate the, the sport. Thank you. Thank you.